I wanted to do this video because there was just a software update for AuthentiSign for realtors here in Ontario, and I'm impressed with how smooth this update is. I know the real estate industry I'm finding does not like change. They are stuck in their ways, but us as new age realtors can handle that change if it's for the better. In this video, I'll show you how to move over a few forms you'll need to make offers for your buyer clients and all the way to the end to sending the emails to them. Just quickly though, for those who don't use AuthentiSign or don't know what it is, it's just a signing service that enables multiple parties to participate and sign documents electronically. Some brokerages use DocuSign or DigiSign. They're all pretty similar. Us as realtors here in Ontario, we get AuthentiSign for free, which is fantastic. I get DigiSign for free, and I actually still only use AuthentiSign. If you broke it down into three parts, you have the MLS, basically matrix for searching properties, creating listings, doing CMAs, etc. basically the best tool we have. Then you have web forms to find and fill out all of your forms you'll need for your clients. And then you have AuthentiSign to move all of the forms into and put all of the initials, all of the signatures in the right places to send off to your clients and receive back from your clients. Easy stuff if we break it down. But now, how do we do all this? I do have my full course that goes through the exact flow of a real estate transaction here in Ontario that goes from A to Z on working with buyers and sellers, from setting up showings, doing CMAs, to uploading listings. You'll learn in a week what takes most agents months or even years, or what I'm finding out some actually never learn. So if you're like me and you learn very well from organized video tutorials, and maybe the most valuable have it to refer back to when needed, Look for that in the description below, and there's a value link, of course, for the YouTube family. But let's just dive right into the computer and look at a few ways we'll use AuthentiSign for our buyer clients. Okay, so we're just in web forms here, and from web forms, we'll move it over to AuthentiSign. We're just gonna fill out three documents, three documents you're gonna see often when it comes to the offer process, and we're just doing the AuthentiSign part of it. So you've already filled out all of these forms perfectly. Now we just gotta send it over to AuthentiSign to make sure all of our initial signatures, they're all in the right place and to see this new software update to a certain extent. So all of your forms in here, some people call this a kit. I definitely call it a transaction. Um, let's call it what it is. Um, but basically over here, you go forms and you see your forms you've already filled out and now you wanna move them over. So let's say we're gonna take the agreement of purchase and sale, perfect. The confirmation of cooperation and representation. And let's say we also will take over the offer summary document, the 801 for use with the agreement of purchase and sale. Now you just come up here to the basket, they're all selected. And now you just go right up here, send to new AuthentiSign. From here, as this loads, you can see it just shows up nicely on the left, but the first thing you gotta do is set up your participants, don't you? I like to add myself first. It seems easiest. Cal Moore, you'll probably already be set up in there. I might have to move my head here. And you'll just wanna save your email address, your name, uh, remote signer, everything will be set up. You'll just wanna go save on yourself first because we will only have to do a little bit of signing actually. Um, compared to our buyer, but we are cooperating uh, brokerage number one, aren't we? We are making an offer here and we will assign signature block for us. And then we will do our uh, buyer client for the uh, sake of this video. I, let's add a participant and the participant is going to be from contacts. This is something you'll do on the other end as well. And let's say it's Jane Smith. But as you can see here, Jane Smith doesn't have an email address. So I wanted to put this here so you can show you just quickly what to do if you haven't filled that out yet. And you'll go select. Sorry, my head seems to be in the way of this uh, beginning. And then you'll see that little caution symbol there. Okay, so what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna click there and just put their email address in. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm also going to use another email address of mine just so we can see how it all works at the end. Um, I'll send them to each other, I'll send them to myself, I'll send them to Jane, and then we can see what it looks like from both perspectives because I really like to do that stuff. Um, that way you just know what your buyers are getting, what they're seeing every time. Um, and then you can walk them through the process because a lot of them will have never done something like this before. So 
Now you've added your, your people to the right-hand side, your participants. Start going down and see where this new authentic sign has put everyone, because you gotta double check that everything is in the right place because sometimes it overpopulates or it misses certain areas. So at the bottom of every page, we'll just do the agreement to purchase and sale first, looks good. Looks good, uh, JS, Jane Smith. Keep going, the first one is just initials at the bottom. Successors and assigns, perfect. And it even has the date here. You'll wanna make sure it has that. And down here, acknowledgement. Okay, so here's a scenario. We don't need the acknowledgement yet if this is just the initial offer going out. That happens at the end. So we'll wanna take off that. And then as we actually won't need to do the uh, commission trust agreement yet. I know some people do. Uh, but they're doing it out of turn. So these uh, do not have to be filled out yet. And then you have your agreement of purchase uh, schedule A, initial there looks good. And then on to the confirmation of cooperation and representation. You can, you've already filled all this out. You're just double checking that everything is in the right place. Oh, there's one we missed. Okay, so now we just come over here. Now we have all the stuff that we can add. We just go, let's say initials and it's already set for us. Of course, if we wanted to change, we'd go to that. Um, then we move it over. You can choose the size. It looks like it might as well keep some congruency. You can scale down over here now, which is really nice just to make it the same size. And you can even duplicate this. Let's say if you did have to do a bunch, if somehow AuthentiSign, let's hope it doesn't happen in the future, is messing up a little bit, you just copy, uh, save yourself some time and copy and paste as you go down. Let's have a quick look, continue on the, okay. So we need to sign here. Um, and here's one we don't need. So this is for multiple representation, of course, if you were in it, but in this particular case, let's say that we're not. It populated there, you have to get rid of it. And now we need sign. We're on ourselves again here. And again, you can switch to Jane whenever you like, if you need something from her. But let's say us, and we want to sign. So this comes populated with a date, which is really nice, which it never used to before. And you can just, if you didn't want to scale over here, you can just grab the corner, just like before just as easy, maybe easier. Um, and then put the date in the right place. That looks perfect. Acknowledgement, yes, on uh, confirmation of cooperation, acknowledgement happens now. And the 801, that's the only place that Jane signs. This is for the listing brokerage. And just like that, everything is set up in place. Of course, go back through everything. And I'll show you one more tool uh, because you might have to cross out some stuff. Um, let's say, we, okay, confirmation of acceptance. Let's say we are now hypothetically the listing uh, brokerage and we wanna put a couple things in here. So let's go back to tools and let's go text line. So you'll notice on this text line here that you won't, you don't fill it out yet. So you would put AM, PM here and then the date. I like to just copy. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste another one right here and then add the seller, sorry, the buyer. So this is like the last person. So the last person signs a confirmation of acceptance. So in this particular case, if they did accept, this would now be on the other side, but let's just hypothetically put ourselves in that scenario so you can see it. We'll just wanna head over to Jane, well, now that we are the listing brokerage and you'll want uh, your clients to sign and date there. You'll have to make sure you grab that, put that in the right place. And you'll see now when we send these, um, this is for us, and we're going to fill them in actually when we're signing. And it's just the date um, you would fill in uh, at 6 p.m., for instance, on the eighth day of March 8th, uh, 2022, that type of thing. So that's how you would add text and don't get, um, don't wonder like, why am I not able to put it in now? You put it in actually when it's sent to you. So this looks perfect. You are now basically finished. You've checked at all the spots and you just go up here and you go next. From here, you can show when this expires. Again, you don't have to do much here. Um, that's giving you a long time to expire. You can just do, you're sending this to your clients. You know your scenario. So pick your scenario. Hopefully your clients will be sending it to them and they'll be getting it back to you within hours, if you know what I mean. Uh, hopefully by the end of the day at the latest, so you can just go expired for the, uh, the next day and then you don't need to set an uh, reminder. Some, some people just send it. I like to do custom invites. Um, it's definitely uh, something that just goes a bit above and beyond. If, if your clients have never done this before, they maybe know not what to do when it comes to this electronic signing. So I know some agents just press send there, but I like to just add a little bit more touch. Uh, to yourself, of course, at the top, you don't need to put much. You know where it's coming from. You can put a reminder of yourself of what this is going to be, but this is more for our clients, isn't it? 
I use templates. I think if you've seen some of my videos before, I love templates. They're in all of my descriptions. I use them for, um, for like for everything. They're, they're in the course that I have in the description below. And uh, I have a subject line and what to send. Just small little touches that your clients will really appreciate, right? On, I think it was Belmont or whatever it is. You put it here. Let's say it's Quartz or Crescent. And then I have this, this little, I'll put it in the description below of this video as well. But um, I have templates on all of my instructions in these videos because it is just that little step. We're in the service industry and this stuff is really appreciated and goes a long way um, with a lot of people. So I'm a fan of going a little bit above and beyond when it comes to client service and change that around. But it's just easy stuff. It's like it's easy on desktop, but it's mobile friendly as well. If you press start on the top right, which I'll show you what that looks like, it will prompt you all the way down. Once you're complete, it will send them back to me. And as soon as I get them, I can send them off to the listing agent. Um, just get, keeps everybody in the loop. And uh, if they follow instructions well, um, it'll be easy for them. And that's sending to me. So we'll have a look at that. We'll save there. And now we'll just send off invites. So usually it's coming pretty fast now. It used to be about 30 to 90 seconds. So I'll quickly speed this up and we'll go check those emails of what they look like, how to fill them out and what you get at the end. Okay, so here it is. It sends to us first. We just quickly open it. It's only just titled one to us because we know what's happening. Of course, to them, it is different. We'll just start signing. You just press that button. It takes you over to this nice platform here and it shows you what you to do. I accept you have four pieces. We only have four, like mentioned in that thing, uh, in that uh, template, you press start top right and you just go down. Okay, our first thing to do, like mentioned, that's that text. So let's say this was 5 p.m. on this day. So for instance, let's say we call it the 8th of of March uh, 2020 and you can even uh, 2022 you can even move this all the way over there and just put that 22 on the other end if you wanted to really just make it perfect you know what I mean but it's not a huge deal that looks great to me and I pressed there and it's let me over but just press next as well and then this is us and you just click it right so uh, cooperating uh, brokerage that's us and here's our signature and we're done. And if it prompts you to give you uh, what signature you want, it just gives you a perfect signature. You don't have to, it gives you CM, it gives you Calamore. You can customize your own signature if you like, but it's not a big deal. Uh, complete signing. From here, we'll be notified of what's happened. Uh, Authentic sign will be always sending us emails. I'll quickly go to that if it hasn't come yet. As you can see here, something's happened. It's shown us, okay, action has been taken. This of course was just as, but this is amazing to get because let's say in this case, I'm only sending to Jane Smith, but if you're sending to three, two, two people, for instance, or three people, you need to know who's holding up the process, right? So now let's head over to my other email address and see if Jane has come because she's next in line, isn't she? Okay. So this Jane, it has come for Jane. Uh, of course, we're signing on her behalf again. And you see our little uh, template here uh, telling them how to go about this. They start signing. They've hopefully done it on desktop if they're more comfortable um, because it is quite easy. They accept. And again, top, they have 10 items to go through. It shows in their progress bar. You start uh, initials here. And again, it will prompt them um, because I've done this before, this tutorial in my um, logistics in action course, um, but it will prompt them to choose a signature and it's pretty easy and they can write their own. Everyone's, most people have done that before and they just go all the way down the list and I'll just quickly keep pressing these so I can kind of show you um, what it will look like on our end once we get it back. So now everybody's participated in it. Now we have these forms that are ready to go off to the listing agent. So I'll stop for a quick second, we'll edit it and see if those forms have come in. Okay, and they've both come in here as you can see and you just click these and now we scroll down and it shows that Jane Smith, she has taken action and our other one will have the forms. So now you have the forms here that are completely filled out by yourself and your client. They're ready to be sent off to the listing brokerage. And that's AuthentiSign, the new version of AuthentiSign. But um, great job by them. Great job that we get this as realtors here in Ontario. You can download it fully here in a merge document. I prefer just doing it separate one, two, three here, just to keep them nice and organized and send them off perfectly 
Um, so you can, you can store them, you can document them better. I like them separately. Okay, guys, we'll see you back at the computer. Okay, I really hope that gave you a good idea of understanding AuthentiSign for your buyer clients. And I'm a bit jealous, I have to admit, because if you're just starting out, you now have this updated software that might have been a little overdue needed. Thanks for watching and look for my course in the description below that goes from A to Z on working with buyers and sellers. My name is Callum Moore, eXp Realty real estate agent here in Ontario, and we'll see you in the next one.